came off the pre-season draft. Marsh again just won it, and the high tackle, I thought, McLeod's left foot is a chance! Well done, Fletcher. Inspector Gadget at his best yeah, there. Absolutely at full stretch there, Dustin Fletcher. Goodwin's reading uh, Clark very well early. Jacobs took off, Welsh hung back. back. Mark Johnson probing, kicked to Moorcroft. Didn't take the mark. Jarman, smart, tried to get out of his way. Danger, Rioli can't break it. Moorcroft's handball, finds Barnard, wants to go back. Hooks back, knows Rioli's there and finds him. Brilliant stuff. Mark Pay. Showed a lot of guts here, Rioli. He had to wait. Well, from what we saw last week, there's no way he could possibly miss. He's got the first for the Bombers. Pops it up for Reminaskis. Got him. Well, didn't mark it. Crowd holds up in the tackle. He's gone now. Had it for too long. Advantage given. If you can just try and suffocate Essendon in the midfield and get equal supply, you're a half chance. Jarman interestingly takes Hurd on here with the kick. Smart's got him. Hurd's all over it. It's holding well. She had it for a while. Romanowskis, well done. Smart needs a toe poke. Pepper was the one that got it. Hurd took it off Jarman cleverly. Hurd in the pocket. Still with Jimmy. Can he try check side? What a goal. How, how brilliant is all of that? <laughs> Unbelievable football. Got to take your hat off to him, Walsy. There is a bloke here who's the best player in the comp at the moment. And he has been belted for the first 20 odd minutes of this game. And yet he still has the composure, the touch. You'll get the teams on the weekend, the final teams for Sunday. Out the back, Bannister there, crowd, Jacobs. Pushes it forward. Oh, clever Barnes. Toe poke to Jason Johnson. Runs in straight lines and kicks a goal. And the Bombers are in front. Bickley read it pretty well. And then goes with a long high one. Rashudo, but good mark, oh. Roman Asker. That was brilliant. In front of uh, three opponents. When someone wins the ball and it goes out to free players. With Adelaide, you're going out to a man-on-man. -man. As I say that, Moorcroft running free. And kicks to centre-half forward and Jason Johnson on his own mark. Gee, I hope we can see that ruck contest. So, heard off, interestingly. Heffern and on, we're right behind Jason Johnson. He's kicked his second goal. The Bombers have kicked the last three goals of the game. Jacobs did well, built it back. Well done, Barnard. That was clever to Mark Johnson. Gallagher to run with him. Can't get him. Mark Johnson, this is a good dash. A very good dash. To Peveril. To Johnson. Edwards. Good run down. Jarman just released the footy, Jarman. He knew he's going to be tackled. The bomb is hard at it here. McVeigh. Still McVeigh. They wanted it desperately. They kicked a full forward. Oh, what a mark. What a mark. What a mark. And what a centred kick by McVay. That's disciplined football. Lloyd knew that his teammate under pressure would work his butt off to centre the ball. And we see McVay shrug the tackle on the boundary line. He's hooked it to the front of the goal square. Well, and he fended him off and then still beat his own opponent for the ball in the contest. This is for 399. He's got it. That mark there. Hill, Marsh just won it, McLeod. Back to Marsh, doing all right. Ugly kick, gets it to about 50. Smart front spot on. Fletcher, good mark. That's his first time he's, he's on the lead again now. They've made their play this quarter, the Crows. I, I just think Essendon's turn for the next three or four minutes. Jacobs read it well. Hill front spot, Marsh at the back of him. Still with Hill, the kick. Lloyd's got his 400th goal. fewest games but uh, Lloyd's the third youngest to get there now the Bombers are getting some freeze oh. that looked uh, pretty soft yeah it did just swung Essendon's way though the last five minutes after all the crows for most of that second quarter if Essendon can nail three goals in four or five minutes it'll uh, heart heartbreaking for the crows Peveril has done a great job on McLeod McGrath read it beautifully and kicks the goal well that was created by Lloyd again Chief. 
That's what he's got to do, Solomon. He needs to be with his man until the ball is at least kicked. And Sheedy's shown a lot of faith in Solomon, keeping him on Vardy, because Vardy beat him in that first half. Oh, good grab. Barnard's grab against uh, young Gallagher. It's got to be 50. Oh, yeah, he'd love the red rag wave. Uh, waved in front of his eyes, I'd say. Goodwin to centre half forward. Heffernan in front of Jarman. Too easy. That's a bad return for the Crows. Great stuff for the Bombers. Lucas belts to goal. It's a goal. Big one. Good shepherd by Lloyd. Won't come on unless it was absolutely desperate. And the Bombers are away, 8-8 eight, eight to 6-1. Another free kick this time to Jason Johnson. Number one clearer from the centre bounces. Hard lot, as nails. A lot of room for Lloyd if they can get it there quick. Just takes McLeod on. Now, that is arrogance. Smart should mark. Doesn't go for it. Yeah. Ball comes to ground. Crows, or oh, high tackle. No. And now they're in real trouble, and Lloyd kicks another one. They're panicking, Adelaide. Charman just got dragged. 40 to 23. Jason Johnson's kick to centre wing. Mark Johnson, who's uh, playing some sort of a match. There he goes. To Wellman. Lloyd goes for him. Wellman may go all the way. Pops it to Barnard. Barnard's at 50. Gets it back to Lucas. He's a chance. He's a good chance from there. Another one. Well. So he takes a while and then goes wide to a one-on-one -on -one here and then a little push from Johnson on Bickley, got rid of him. He's strong, Johnson, isn't he? Oh, strong as an ox, and Bickley's uh, no weaky. Barnard very short. Solomon in the forward 50 for the Bombers. Wellman's yeah. gone down too, Wolsey. Yeah, Vardy's there. They're dictating terms now, Essendon. Gee, too easy. That's too easy. Got past uh, Bickley and then kicks to Lloyd. He's played brilliantly. A couple of his marks have been uh, unforgettable. From the pocket. I think he likes that. It's a good goal. He kicked four. Uh, McGrath's there for Essendon. Also, Wellman come behind. Marsh, well done, Barnes, because he knew that the, the bounce didn't favour him. Rioli wrote the first tackle brilliantly. Well, he got a free. Haven't seen much of him tonight. Lovely kick. And gutsy Mark Wellman. Gutsy Mark Wellman. Trust. Wellman played 34 games for the Crows. He's had a great career with the Bombers. Kicked six goals this year. And make that seven, Wolsey. 40 metre kick at most. Just gets it over. And then Barnard to Lloyd. Now Hart's got to time this. Lloyd just filled him beautifully, didn't he? He got, he got back, then gets a high tackle. David Gallagher under the puck. That's deliberate. That is deliberate. It's gone. Has to be paid. Lloyd a little bit stiff not to get a free kick seconds earlier. Won't suit his left foot. I think he might have got caught over the shoulder. Short to Rioli. Rioli kicked a first quarter goal. Brings it back and sneaks and it through. to Gallagher, that's a good touch, that's better to Kane Johnson, now he puts uh, Tyson Edwards under the pump, back to Johnson, no, he had to reflex the handball and he didn't do it, oh, Tyson well, Edwards More and problem. the Bombers have just worried them out of it, Wellman to Ramanowskis to Lloyd, I reckon Edwards had to find Johnson with a reflex handball so Lloyd is kicked four he's over the 400 mark, third youngest ever he's given it a bit of a hook but he's got it home for five 54 marks to 27. Edwards has kicked poor. Crows only took four marks in that third quarter. Heffernan. Essendon are using the ball, sharing the ball, finding each other. This bloke's been better the, the longer the game's gone. More cross come into the game too. Rioli. And we just saw a great transfer of the football. He really misses. Good call. Good call. He's kicked 15 goals too this year. Big question mark because Joe Mercedes is due to come back and the kid will go back to the rookie list and he can't play senior footy. Stevens belts it away. Lloyd at about 65 metres. Rioli works to the front. Well done at the back. Just a fist away 
by the Crows. Now Stenglein, it was Shirley's fist away. Rioli gets it back. And then little one to Moorcroft, to oh. McVeigh. Another goal. Smart has to charge him. Had to charge him. Oh, well, well, two things are happening here. Two or three Adelaide players that unless they get a touch in the next 15 minutes, they mightn't be in the team in a fortnight. Well, they've got 11 weeks or 10 weeks to go after this. And you'd think that if they're going to mount a charge at the finals, they'd want to do it with a team that's going to take them there next year and beyond. Solomon Barnard back to uh, Bannister. Bannister got it over to Jacobs as the Bombers again stream forward. McGrath on the end of it over the Crows in the second half. Yeah, well, it's come true. Rotates the ball on the strike. I think he's uh, snuck it home. Two to McGrath. Now that sounds impressive, but everyone has been under the pump, and uh, that's to Peveril's credit. There he is again putting the tackle on. Some of his matchups have been Buckley, Schwass, Cousins. As I continue on, Chick Knights, and also as Lloyd may kick six, and also McLeod. Yep. What a way to finish! Oh, cream on the cake! And Peveril, an important part of that goal. Judd Lalich hasn't come back on either. The one Dipper was talking about at three-quarter time, so he must have been uh, pretty seriously shaken up, the kid. Rashudo to Smart. Got a feeling that Kevin Sheedy will do something here with Peveril. Wait for it. Let's see if something happens with young Peveril with Sheets. 18-14 to 11-7. Big win for the Bombers. Terrific effort. And they were good early, and then they capitulated, and they got a couple of goals at the end.